We can't get to Cypress. What if we just simply close our eyes and said we won? What if Kaiserreich was all a dream? What if this isn't real? Okay, no, hold, hold position for a second. So... I mean... How many troops do you guys have? 129 to 400. Eight to 42. 22 to 44. 10 to 49. Even Paraguay's got like 7 to 16. I don't know how they're doing that. Again, we can't like invade anybody else. At least not yet. Again, world tension's a little bork. Okay, we're still holding Porto. But the AI, now that they've put us just in Porto, I guess they think that we're no longer a threat to them. I don't really know what they're doing. That, that's not gonna work. If we delete half their army. We got our two. Like, we technically outnumber them. The thing is, like, we have no air superiority, and the AI. I mean, I guess it's only still 150 planes. There's not that much. Some of our infantry divisions have, you know, 1,500 strength, and ours, you know, do not. 900 strength. We can put our navy here. It'll give us shore bombardment. Just 0.6%. What if we put our entire navy here? Okay, the navy's on its way. And then we invade. Shore bombardment is now a 25% penalty. And the international has done another naval invading, another naval invasion. With all these naval invasions, how do you still have any troops? You actually don't have any troops in Plymouth. Aha! Funny meme. He's funny meme. He's going to do another naval invasion. Fuck yeah, I am, dude. We're going to Plymouth now, boys. Going to Plymouth. Because I think if we can end up killing, I'm like even then they don't want to actually die. If we... Yeah, because, I mean, the British AI, they're navally invading all over the place. And they're navally invading all over the place. There's no way they have enough troops to um, actually defend Britain, right? They did sink my once uh, destroyer. I mean, I guess they, did. they actually do have some troops up here. Okay, make your way up here. Let's see what's going on. We'll sink and hopefully we may destroy some uh, ships here. Rights for service. Bonus worth aircraft, bonus worth nuclear technology. 
Hogwoys, I mean, we have 200 right now. I don't think it's really necessary to get more. Looking at nails pretty already over. The Bay of Biscay. I don't even know what the Navy actually even is right now. Okay, they've sunk another, tw they've sunk 12 of my destroyers. Which I mean, you know, fair enough, but like also like screw you. Time for another naval invasion, boys. Naval invasion 542. I think the international is going to end up killing potentially all of my troops and then all of Russia's troops as well. I mean, no, Russia's trying to do a little bit of a comeback. They're pushing it in a little bit more. Okay, the two infantry are on their way. Will they land in Cornwall or will they be um, horribly depressed? Only one way to find out. You gotta stick around. Not even, not even, not even a reason to fight here anymore. Where even is my navy? Why is my navy over here? I don't know. There's nobody in Plymouth. There we go. We've, we've, we've captured the great British. God damn it. <laughs> go, go, go. Re retreat out of the port into this port. It's the only way. Oh, the Canadians have landed. Wait, and the Canadians have landed troops up here? Are these? Oh, these are the Loyalist Exile Divisions. Okay. I mean, it's nice for them to show up. I honestly didn't think that this would be as difficult as it is. Okay, we land the rest of our units here. We'll defend as the British AI throws their men against us. The Loyalist Volunteers are already dead. Portugal's already dead. They don't know it yet that they are. Okay. Benningram has been killed. It's time for Orange Army to uh, also get out of here. Move their way up to Britain to help out. Because as long as if we can get like a beachhead somewhere. You know what, Southern Rhodesia? Sure. You want to send me one division? Make your way up to Purple Army. The Portuguese are trying to attack out. Well, Portugal, I apologize for leaving you to your fate. But, like, we've, we've got to fight something somewhere. Okay, well, we've at least, I was going to say, secure our position here. we got we got to capture this airport so we can actually maybe get some support craft in the area. Because here's my thinking. If we can kill one major international power, then our opportunity uh, explodes. Like, we're going to be, we're going to have a lot more options available to us. Brown army is now on the way as well. 
Because how many troops does Britain have? They've got 81 to 160. We kill Britain, all this area should revert back to whoever. Russia, Turkey. Hello, uh... It's Selene. By the way, AI, I need to take this fucking airport from you. Okay, send our units in. I always knew, I always knew that Britain was the, so the soft underbelly, or the soft overbelly of Europe. We have a we have something against you. I guess we'll just fly a thing against the British. How many guns do we have? We have 26,000 rifles. Let's go, like, some more on support equipment. against you 70 we're at least offending airport how many planes you got a couple hundred we could we can put 1600 here so where's my entire air force I actually have a bunch of air forces okay you guys get them going Fighters as well. Might as well, might as well put the the anti-war uh, or the carrier bombers, I should say, naval bombers, whatever you want to call them. And how many how many aircraft do I have? Two thousand. Where are those two thousand? You might be asking. I don't know, and I would like to know. Five hundred fighters. And is this five hundred? These are scout planes. You're in Digib. Why are you in fucking Digibooty? Get your way over to Cornwall. Support the invasion of Britain. Help us get air superiority over the island. There are 84 are defending. Birmingham's here. This will be done in about a year and a half. Uh, sure, we have time. 1942. Let's get our last. Our last upgrade here. It's, it's, it's just our Hail Mary. You're not wrong. It's our, oh god, this has to work or else we lose. Okay, hold position. You come here. You guys will naval strike in the English Channel just because you can. Scout planes, I guess you do air recon. I don't really know what air recon actually does. But even then, like, we still... There's still a lot of en enemy aircraft. Bonus to aircraft research. I guess we'll go for air production for right now. Seems relatively okay. Okay, Morocco has joined the Cairo Pact. 
Should have joined the Entente, but you know, here we are. Um. Just, yeah, extra 10% attack. Like, just give me that extra 10% attack. And this is considered Canadian territory, so we can't build anything here either. Even though it would be nice if we could. Cannot. Navy still spinning fuel. Dock the ships. I mean, how close have we gotten Britain down the quarters capitulation? We've gotten them down to... 89%! Hell yeah! Who are the great powers? It's just it's just France and Britain, right? Yes. The AI's actually landed behind us. The AI's freaking landed behind us. Then our units back. Well, you only have one base of supplies is in Cardiff. How dare, like how, honestly, how dare you? What would be nice is for somebody to... Yeah, you, you never expect the AI to actually kind of be okay. How they get ya. We've actually lost both of our airports now. We actually have no air support in this area anymore. Um, so that's good. Oh my god. Well. Okay, hold, hold position. Consolidate your position right now in Wales. You doing anything? Not really. It looks like the British might get pushed out of here. They're really just like incredibly powerful. They're monsters. Like the one time we were doing okay. The one front we have where it's like maybe, just maybe, we we can accomplish something. I'm I'm Even with Russia helping us, like it's I mean, how many... 1,500? Like, how bad is the air penalty for us? The negative... Well, it's a plus 27% to their defense. Which, of course, is pretty good. So we did take over Birmingham. Are you not connected? Are you actually two different areas? British have landed more troops around here. We got more aircraft. We got another. We actually have captured an airport again. Where did my aircraft go? Did they go back to Djibouti? No. They're all in Cyprus. Please go to England. You're gonna try to land in Bristol. You're trying to cut us off from all possible. Uh... Wait, 
what did I do? Oh no. I need to sign you under a different general. My bad. Whoops. I wanted this army to combine back into this army. So we know that no matter what, we at least need to be defending um, our port provinces. Because the AI will be too sneaky. They'll, they'll be too sneaky for us. Okay, I think these guys are all leaving. We do another attack. And again. We'll have as many aircraft as we can in the area. Like, how many? I, I just... Irish comrades? So get, get out of here. They've actually cut these guys off. Bristol will still hold. I mean, we came into this uh, expecting a challenge run, right? Like, I don't think anybody was expecting us to just walk over the AI. I get Bremen back. I'm just... I, I think with that, I feel confident calling it a series here. I mean, it was a little challenge run, for sure. I mean, here's the thing. The, the French AI capitulating... I don't know if World's Hedge can go back up. But the French Republic capitulating on, like, day fucking one. Like, they capitulated so early on that... It really put us in the back foot. I think if the French Republic was still alive and we could have said, like, naval invasions from here, maybe taken over Sardinia, taken over Sicily, and maybe push up Italy or something like that, we could have had something go on. Yeah, and, like, I just don't... I mean, let's go, let's go Fog of War. I'm, cur I'm curious to know... How many men do you guys have? 214... 118.50. So, I mean, just France has as many men, basically, as Russia does. On top of having Britain and France. Whereas, we have me, who's got 85, which is, you know, it's, I think, a respectable number. Delhi has 43, but other than that, like, who in our faction has any troops? Australia's got 33. Canada's got 22. South Africa's got 13. Like, our army sucks. In total, our army is about a little bit, like, 50 divisions more than what France has in total. Again, just France. The entire international has 536 men. They actually did outnumber us in the end. I mean, I guess that is still, that's still including um, Bahari Commune and Hyperbad. How many, how many men is just for you guys? 563. Yeah, so it's about Russia and all of the Entente combined. Would have the same amount of strength as the Internationale did. And of course, the Internationale, unlike the Entente, which is like, some of it's over here, we got some over here. This area is in a war. Muscat, Germany's Asia. Like, how much does Germany's Asia have? They have 34. Actually, I could have used these troops. I could have just... Actually, wait, are you not... No, you're not my puppet anymore. Never mind, you're just in the faction. Central America has more troops in... That's hilarious. They have 32. Yeah, they do. Yeah, like, look how many troops they got here. So my, my plan of maybe going and just invading uh, North America would not have worked out. Like, they just have a ton of men. But what if, theoretically, I was to take back control of here? Hey, look, it's mine again. We did it. The German government exile has returned. Is there not a button to do this? 
Or do I need to be at peace as well? I don't know. I don't know. I think I, the international is just like very strong. Yeah, 50 political power, 5 stability. Hey, look, we're, we're technically Germany again. German Empire, yay. You don't get a new tree. There's no, there's no content after that. However, I don't want to be famous, by the way. This get banned. I need to get more moderators. I have, I have zero. So having at least one, I think, would be an improvement here. But that was uh, German Government Exile.